Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahshai, Bahashim, Harakakurash. Those are the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ, whose names are Yahweh and Yahushai, in the name of the Harakakurash, the Holy Spirit. I would like to also give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom to the hopeful elect that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine throughout the four winds of the world. To you, I say shalom. Okay, be mindful of the scourge. All right, and this is the direct quote from um, 2 Ezra chapter uh, 16 uh, and the uh, 20th verse. I'm going to start at 18. All right, and that scourge is coming from the Heavenly Father, okay? But you have to be mindful of it that the Heavenly Father is the one that's doing it. The Heavenly Father is the one that's ultimately jacking you up, putting you in a position to make you suffer, to make you uh, 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 repent, really, all right? To, to give you, uh, uh, really, His mercy, all right? The Heavenly Father is long-suffering with us, but He's given us chances to um, to come back to Him, to turn from sin, to repent, okay? To, to, to follow the righteous path. All right, but those scourges that's coming down, the chastening from the Heavenly Father is as is it's sent as correction. Okay, and, and pretty soon that 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 um that window of mercy, that time of correction is going to be is going to is 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 going to not exist anymore. All right, and the Heavenly Father is just going to come down with judgment. All right, that's why you have to be mindful of the scourge. All right, you have to when things are happening to you, you're catching hell in the world, you're going through shit. Okay, you you know you gotta hey. You got to understand who's doing it to you and why they're doing it to you. All right. The Heavenly Father is doing it to you to for you to get right. All right. For you for you to return back. All right. To For you to acknowledge your offenses. All right. As the scripture says in Hosea, I'm going to get that also. So let me read this in 2 Ezra chapter 16. And I'm going to start at verse 18. And this is going into the plagues that the Heavenly Father is going to send uh, uh, amongst Babylon, the great uh, America and other parts of the world, um, wherever you Israelites dwell, right? wherever Israel is scattered. All right, but the, the majority of the Israelites are here in uh, Babylon. All right, this is the book of uh, 2 Ezra chapter 16, and I'm going to start at verse 18, the point in 20. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendments, all right, for you to admit your ways, all right, these things are sent for you to get right, for you to turn from sin, for, for you to repent, all right, let me look up this word scourge, I'm just going to look it up in the, uh, uh, the, 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 the computer thing right here, it says scourge, a whip used as an instrument of punishment, a person or thing that causes great trouble, all right, and let me see, causes great trouble or suffering. Okay, hey, having patience is to suffer. All right, the Most High long suffering with us. So the famine, plague, tribulation, anguish are sent as scourges, causing you to suffer, causing you to what did it say? Uh, as a punishment. Okay, uh, uh, the things that cause great trouble or uh, or suffering. Okay, and the Heavenly Father is sending you that suffering for you to get right. All right, He's just not doing it just to jack you up. All right, just because He likes to you know put you through shit. All right, the Heavenly Father is doing it for a reason. Everything that takes place in this world, the Heavenly Father is in ultimate control, and he's doing it for a reason. All right, like they say, everything happens for a reason. The, hey, everything does happen for a reason, and the Heavenly Father is the one that's in control, ultimately. All right, this is, um, where was I at? Oh, verse 9. I'll read verse 19 again. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendments. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourge, all right? All these things that are going to take place to Israel, our people are still not going to acknowledge their offenses. They're still going to turn their face to the Heavenly Father. They're still going to not acknowledge the Heavenly Father and His Son, okay? They're still going to, you know, continue to be wicked, all right? They won't be mindful of the scourge. You know, a plague will come, a plague of famine will come, a plague of uh, a form of pestilence, okay? Esau coming down with great wrath, slaughtering uh, uh, thousands upon thousands of Israelites, and our people still won't turn from their wickedness. Our people will still turn to Esau for a solution, for a uh, um, for a handout, okay? They won't turn to the Heavenly Father and, and acknowledge their offenses. Let me grab that real quick, because that's what our people have to do. Our people have to acknowledge that we went off, all right, that we continue to go off, all right, that, that we need 
someone to save us, that we need a, a, a redeemer, a savior, all right, that, that we don't got, we, that we don't know it all, that we, we that we're not perfect, all right, that we, we that we, we, we are, um, you know, we, 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 uh, uh, you know, we need to repent, really, you know what I'm saying, that, that we need to, um, it's, it's, let me see, it's, our people need to realize that, you know, we don't have it all figured out, okay, that, 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 you know, in this, in this a time of uh, repentance, and that, and that, that, that window of repentance is slowly closing. All right, this is the book of Hosea, chapter five, in uh, verse fifteen. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. All right, the elect, all right, uh, of the of the nation of Israel is going to seek the heavenly Father. All right, when their time of trouble, but the two thirds are still going to turn their back for uh, to still turn their back to the heavenly Father. Because they won't acknowledge their offenses. They won't be mindful of the scourge. All right. They won't be mindful of, of the things, the things that the Heavenly Father is putting on them. All right. They'll think it's, oh, I just got bad luck or, you know, you know, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it's Satan. No, the most high controls both sides. The most, the most sides control the spiritual demon, Satan. Okay. The, the Satan has to check in with the most high. All right. The most high could put, put a demon on you. All right, the most I can take a demon off of you. The most I can put a righteous demon on you, okay? And he could put a wicked demon on you, all right? It's the Heavenly Father's, this is the Heavenly Father's, um, the Heavenly Father's uh, uh, um, uh, 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 movie, okay? So he can, he can set the antagonist, the protagonist, all right? And, and you know, he, he set Esau up to be the wicked, the antagonist, and he set up Jacob to be the protagonist. All right, but they're going to be two thirds of our people that follow after the wicked ways of Esau. They're going to be destroyed also because they won't acknowledge their offenses. They when 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 shit happens, they won't they they won't think that the heavenly Father's doing it. They'll think that you know uh, Esau's doing it. Okay, or 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 you know they'll, they'll blame it on they'll blame it on anything. All right, or give credit to any, any anything and everybody but the heavenly Father. That that's 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 you know jacking them up. All right, let me uh jump over to um. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, and I'm going to start at verse 5. And it reads, And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you, and speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. All right, don't, hey, hey, when the Lord is jacking you up, don't despise it, all right? Acknowledge that, that you know, hey, if the Lord is jacking me up, he's jacking me up for a reason. All right, let me think about what did I do or what I didn't do, all right, this past week, this past month, or whatever it was that pissed the Heavenly Father off. All right, it says, despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Okay, and the Lord is, hey, he's coming with strong rebuke in these last days. All right, if you're not, hey, the Lord is giving you chances, and if you run out of chances, hey, the Lord, and he's not rebuking you no more, that means, hey, he ain't dealing with you. All right, so he's going to give you over to uh, uh, your wickedness. All right, your 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 wicked, uh, uh, your lustful mind. All right, the, the 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 pride of life. All right, the the lust of the flesh. All right, the Lord is going to give you over to that, and, and eventually it's going to destroy you. All right, verse six: For whom the Lord loveth, He chasteneth and scourgeth every son who He receiveth. All right, so the Lord is that's that's actual love when the Lord is chastising you, when the Lord is putting you through hell, when the Lord is uh, rebuking you, when the Lord is. Uh, is, is is dealing with you uh um is 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 giving you long suffering okay when the lord is making you uh um when the lord is making you suffer okay the lord is testing you the lord is testing your patience the lord is testing your faith through all of this through all the uh chastening of the heavenly father okay verse 7 if you endure chastening the most high deal with you as he as with sons for what son is he whom the father chasteneth not but if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are part, where uh, whereof all are partakers, then ye are by step, best you, then you are bastards and not sons. All right. So hey, if the Lord Heavenly Father is not dealing with you. He hey, he's really not claiming you. He's like that. That's not my son. All right. He, he's not one of mine. You know. And I, I you know. I, well, what, he's not one of mine. Why do I need to whoop him? Why do I need to chastise him? All right. When he's not mine. But the Heavenly Father, those who he is, his elect. His uh, uh, who he considers sons, all right. He's going to chasten, all right. He's going to whoop their ass. He's going to put them through shit to make them get right, to give them a chance to get right, all right. Because everything the heavenly Father is putting us through is for is for our learning. It's for to make us better. It's it's to build us in the spirit, okay. Um, let me jump over to the book of James. Uh, the book of James, chapter one, 
and uh, verse, I'm going to start at verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, all right? We, hey, when you're when you dealing with temptation or when you're dealing, when you're playing with demons, all right, the Heavenly Father is trying you. He's trying your faith, all right? He's going to see if you're going to call on him in your time of need. He's going to see if you're going to uh, uh, lean on him, all right? He's going to see if you're going to wait for him, all right, in your time of need. That's working your faith. That's in faith working patience, okay? All right, so, hey, you have to, hey, the Heavenly Father is patient, but you got to be patient too, all right? You got to be patient with the Heavenly Father. He's, he's not going to just, you know, run to you when you when, when, every time you call him, okay? But he's going to he's going to he's going to see how you maneuver and and, and and work through this situation, all right? Are you going to uh you know, um are you going to succumb to your your flesh, all right, and go about it carnally, or are you going to stay spiritual and depend on the Lord and, and and have faith and build your faith? Okay? Now, that's what the heavenly father's looking for. He's looking for the meek, all right? The, the scriptures say the the, the uh, earth shall be given to the um how to go um the meek shall inherit the earth, all right? The Heavenly Father is dealing with the meek, the humble, the uh, sh the ones that are going to show humility, okay? The ones that are going to, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, humble down to the Lord, all right? Let me see. Um, let me grab this in the book of Romans because it goes with uh, what I just read, Romans 5. And I'm going to start at verse 3. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation, also knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Let me read this first part again. And not and not only so, but we glory in tribulation. That is something that is frowned upon in this world. When you're going through shit, you catch in hell, all right, that the world looks at that like, you know, that that's something that that's that's bad. Okay. That that you that that you know that 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 should be uh um that, that you shouldn't that you that you shouldn't welcome. That you shouldn't um you know uh the state they the world looks at that that tribulation as something that's bad and, and, and you know uh, uh uh something that's um What's the word? Um, something that people, you know, th that don't like to deal with. All right. Tribulation. Actually, when we're in this truth, is a good thing because the scripture says, knowing that tribulation worketh patience and the elect is going to have to go through tribulation. The elect is going to go have, have to go through scourge. The elect is going to have to be tried a a a in that fire. All right. Let me grab this real quick. This is Acts, the 14th chapter in the 22nd verse. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith that we must that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high. So in entering into the kingdom, that straight gate, you're going to have to go through much tribulation and that tribulation is going to work your patience. So when that hour of temptation comes that, 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 uh, uh, that final test, all right, you'll be able to pass. All right. You'll be able to endure the, endure the temptation, endure the tribulation and, 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 and be clean and be made white at the end of the day. Okay. Um, Verse five, back in Romans uh, five and five. Um, actually, I, I didn't even read four. I, I'll start at three and read it all, all the way through. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience and patience experience and experience hope. All right. Hey, you're going to have to, you know, you, the, the, the things that you go through, the scourge that you go through, that gains experience and patience. OK, if you ain't ever been, if you ain't ever been through shit, when the hour of temptation comes, you're not going to know what to do. OK, but if you've been through things, all right, the Heavenly Father is building you up or right, you have ups and downs, more downs and ups. OK, you, 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 you've been beat down. The Heavenly Father is building you up. So when that hour of temptation comes, you have the patience, you have the faith, you have the experience. All right. To deal with uh, uh, whatever, whatever Esau throws at you. OK, verse five and hope maketh not a shame because the love of the most high is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us, all right? The Heavenly Father gave his elect the Holy Spirit, okay, to, 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 to comfort them in these times, all right? To to uh, uh, to, to build their faith, okay? To, to, to guide them, okay, ultimately. Let me see. Uh, it's a lot of my allergies is kind of acting up right now, but, you know, Lord willing. Make it through this lesson without you know too much sniffling and stuff. Oh, let me grab this in uh, Deuteronomy chapter uh, thirty-two. All right, because you know the, 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 when things like this, when people die and, and, and people go through shit. All right, they have, you know the, the the world thinks that you know uh, uh, it, it it's Satan or or you know that person had bad luck or whatever. All right, it's the heavenly Father that's ultimately in control. All right, that's the state. Hey, when you see someone get judged. 
All right, that that's a scourge from from the heavenly Father. All right, that that and and then really it's a scourge or right, of amendment for the ones that that witnessed that or took or, or 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 saw the judgment take place for them to get right because at the end of the day they could have been that one that uh, have gotten judged or they could be the next to get judged. All right, because the heavenly Father is the one that kills and makes alive. All right, heals and wounds. You know, uh, how's it go? Yeah, yeah, heals and wounds. All right, this is the Deuteronomy chapter 32, and I'm going to start at verse 39. It says, see, see now that I, even I, am he. There is no there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hands. So the Heavenly Father is the one that heals, and, that, that, that kills and heals, all right, that wounds and makes alive. Okay, so so the heavenly that's clearly an indication that the most high Yahweh is in the ultimate control of everything. Okay, that's why you have to be mindful of the scourge when you're going through shit. Who's doing it? All right, the heavenly father can kill and make alive. He can, of course, he can do any and everything else. All right, of course, he could put a plague on you. Of course, you can, he can, uh, 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 you know, give you a, a, a disease, uh, you know, 10 times worse than the C19, but he also can be the one to uh, uh, heal you from that. All right, that's what our people don't realize. All right, yeah, if you're going through hell, if you got a disease, if you got cancer, whatever it may be, the Heavenly Father can heal that with a snap of the fingers. Okay, so so when when you're when you're going when you're going through the scourge, when you're when you're catching hell, keep in mind that the Heavenly Father is the one that's doing it, and the Heavenly Father is the one that can turn the shit just like it's, it's bad, the the worst situation you could think of. The Heavenly Father can turn it around. To be the best situation with with a blink of an eye, with a blink of an eye, and that's the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that 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 we're dealing with. Okay, people don't understand. People underestimate the Most High in His power. All right, people try to put the Most High in a box like the Most High it, 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 it can't it ain't undefeated. Okay, this is the book of Isaiah forty five in verse seven. I form the light. I create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I the Lord do all these things. So the Heavenly Father is in ultimate control. Okay. So that's why you, when Jake is getting jacked up, you got to be mindful of the scourge. All right, if he can, if he creates darkness, it creates light, makes peace, it creates evil. All right, what else? It's the the the. the you, gotta you gotta understand the the uh the the possibilities of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai are infinite. Okay, so when you catch it held, hey, don't 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 get in that war with me spirit. Okay, you need to be thinking about, you know, where did I mess up? All right, why is the Most High doing this to me? Not, not, not in a, not in a, asking a question, but you know, asking your, not asking the Most High question, but asking yourself this question, and, and so you can reflect and look back on yourself and re-examine yourself and what what you're doing in your life that's not right. Why, why you are in this situation? Okay, because hey, the Lord is pouring out His Spirit, uh, 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 uh you know, throughout the four winds of the world, and hey, if you if you don't hearken, all right, the Heavenly Father, you know, it's going to come a time when, you know, this truth is not going to be, able, you're not going to be able to get this truth. And, we, and people are looking for answers in these last days. All right, we see more and more brothers coming out to our camp, all right, every week looking for answers, all right? And, and eventually, those answers that all you Jays got are not going to be answered because the prophets are going to be off the street. The family of the word is, is, is going to be in full effect. It's going to be martial law and, you know, Jacob's 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 trouble is going to be in a uh, 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 in, in full gear at that point at that moment. Okay, so um, you know, hey Jake out there, hey be mindful of the scorch. Understand when you catch in hell, you going through something. Hey, it's the Most High. It's your how about Shemiah Shai that's putting it to you. All right, and it's really out of love. All right, because. You know, when when the Heavenly Father stops dealing with you, that's when you should be scared. That's when, you know, if you ain't catching no hell, that's when you should be scared because either, you know, the Most High did, uh, uh, you know, you know, uh, is stop extending his hand to you, okay, and, and he ain't no longer dealing with you, or you got a serious uh, judgment coming from the Most High, um, you know, um, you know, and, and it can come at any time, all right? Because the Most High is, like I say, the, 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 the power and, and the abilities of the Most High it is some infinite. All right. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. And I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Hawa Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace, citation, hopeful elect. Shalom.